Hello guys and welcome to the second installment of the end of April Dollar Tree Grabs. This one's big enough it could be even called a, a haul. Here we go. Uh, and I'm going to try to go quickly through these. Uh, first up, Sushi Girl. Got this one because it had a... Um, um, Tony Todd and Mark Hamill in it. So just for that, I decided, oh, let me give this a watch. At first, I don't know, it sounded like like it wouldn't be that good, but I had those two guys in there. I decided to get it. Uh, next up, I'm glad to get this because this does seem like the kind of stuff I like. Uh, old classic right there, the Deadly Bees. They say getting bit by 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 a bee is good for arthritis. So I guess if if you get bit by a thousand bees, you'll never get arthritis in your life. Or maybe you will never get arthritis because you you'll be dead. Here we have uh, the last ones out. This one's a uh, shutter exclusive, so I decided you know to get it. Okay. By R J. What is it? Uh, RLJ. So the last one's up. That one I saw the trailer it didn't excite me that much, but this one I think I saw a piece of it on Hulu or I don't know where a while back and I I thought it was interesting. The the locale was interesting, like in the middle of the desert and stuff like that. It it was you know seemed entertaining. So I wanted to see the end of it, so that's why I got it. It's got a nice looking uh, cover here too, Trespassers. And it's by Shout too. Uh, I saw this one. I decided to get it. Uh, looked, uh, looked interesting, although I haven't seen the trailer. Maybe it's just a bunch of fluff, I don't know, I have to see it. Looking for Len. This is a story about the, the father of the Russian Revo Revolution. Looking for Lenin. Oh no, wait a second. It's the, oh no, the, the, the music revolution. Sorry, the Beatles. Sorry. Yeah. Got this one. Cheap Thrills. I saw the, the trailer for this one. Look pretty sadistic. Sort of like the kind of movie I really wouldn't like. A little bit reminiscent of the beginning of uh, Hobo with a Shotgun. But I decided, hey, let me, you know, see a piece and see how it goes. Got this one. Itsy Bitsy. It's also a Shout. And I grabbed it just because of that. Because I go, ah, it's a spider movie, you know, but, it, but it's Shout, so it may be good. I actually saw this one. Yeah, I didn't think it was all that great. The story was a little bit boring. It had some elements like it could have been made better, but it, you know, overall, it sort of left the left me hanging there. Itsy bitsy. I got this one. I think at the time I got it just to get it or something because honestly, I doubted that I'll ever watch this movie. But maybe if I if I ever see a review or a trailer and and it happens to look good to me, I'll. I'll have it to watch. And on the apocalypse. There you go. You have the lady with a huge uh, candy cane. And you hook somebody by the neck. Uh, let's see. I got this series. Hitman Season 1. With no idea of how it's going to be. You know, some of these things can be great and they can be crappy. And only until one season can one really tell. So we have Ed Man Season 1. Haven't even seen the trailer for this. And again, it's, you know, over exaggerated martial arts, you know. One single guy kills 500 uh, other guys. And, you know, doesn't receive any kind of uh, physical damage. Absolute BS. Uh, here we have Abduction.
this guy right here that's sort of like the the modern equivalent of uh, Van Dam in amazing uh, physical shape and, and really good uh, choreographed martial arts etc so Scott Adkins I liked him in, in the ninja movie uh, let's see Got this one right here because he has this dude from uh, something wicked this way comes his name uh, God, now, for, now I forget but anyhow I saw the trailer for this the trailer didn't excite me much you know at least I don't know a tell you right now a I think Jason Roberts that was the other guy it's Jonathan Price I believe yeah he was also in a in a movie I saw recently what was it uh can't even tell who the main guy of that I can't even remember who the main guy of that movie that I saw with him was it was basically some some guy that it had Robert De Niro I think it was Ronin I think it was Ronin actually um, I got these last time I got this and I don't even know if it's you know if this was the continuation of the seasons or if it's the same seasons I got last time I'll be really when I look at my other one I'll be really disappointed if if I got the same season all over again you got these these guys right here that they look like uh, they're apparently what is it beavers but they look like a guilty dogs after they've tore up a couch or something Holy smokes, that couch about to come. Uh, got this one. I've had this before in the past, but I don't know if I've got it at Dollar Tree or I used to have this movie and then I lost it. But uh, mostly ghostly because I like uh, I like the R.L. Steins and I, I like the this other one. Oh my god, what's it called? Uh, are you Afraid of the Dark? I think it's it's called. Those are, those are pretty good uh, shows. And it goes on. I got this one because it was brain damage films. Uh, you know, if it was Wild Eye, I probably wouldn't have grabbed it, but I'm like, oh, I haven't seen one of these brain damage things in a long time. So I might as well watch it, see if it uh, gives me brain damage. And you will. I was excited to see this right here Rockford Files I remember having seen a couple of episodes of this on TV and, and I liked it, it was a good show James Garner I believe yeah um, Can't put any more in the tower there, they're gonna fall over. Got this thing that's got a bunch of uh, westerns, a lot of westerns that I haven't seen. It has here uh, Annie Oakley, which I thought may be interesting. And she was like an interesting uh, historical character. Not a person to be messed with here. Um, it's got a shotgun uh, slade, the Lone Ranger, Cisco Kid, Frontier uh, Doctor. And pistols and petticoats. And, uh, I got this one because I saw some people grab it before. This guy, this actor I've seen before, seems like uh, like it would be cool. This is apparently a season of some kind of a racing show. Again, I'm not much into racing and stuff like that, but you never know. It may be, may be interesting. Knight Rider was sort of racing-like, and I used to like it. So 
and I think that's about it. That's the the second half of my uh, end of April hauls, and uh, and that's that's about it. I think I've exhausted already all the, the you know my time and my money that I had, and the Dollar Trees that I found uh, nearby, two or three that I found nearby. So that's it. Till next month. The end of the Dollar Tree stuff. Alright guys. Once again, hopefully you can find uh, some of these titles if you were interested. Um, there's one Kung Fu title I think I saw there that, that I tried to grab. And, and I left it behind because I didn't have money. And then when I went back, I couldn't find it. So, But um, something about a Wu-Tang something or other. So in any case, uh, again, hope you find the, the titles of this uh, kind that uh, if you see some here that you know that you like, and um, hopefully you can find them in your local stores. And again, if you want to see more uh, future hauls from other places and, and uh, yard sales and stuff like that, uh, again subscribe. And uh, if you want to help me out hit a uh, hit like or make comments you know and ask just anything that you want to ask about these movies or you know or some movies on uh, on yard sales and and thrift halls and stuff like that all right take care